My name is Ted Park and my Korean name is Bak Taewon. My parents are from South Korea and I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, born and raised. I don't look how I'm supposed to look. I'm not from where I'm supposed to be from. I'm not supposed to be from Madison, Wisconsin, signed to a K-pop star's international label. I wasn't supposed to drop out of high school. I'm supposed to be a doctor right now. I wasn't supposed to hop on the bus and come to New York and then try to figure it out and not tell anyone. I'm just trying to show people that there are different paths to get to where you want to be. Being an Asian American kid in Madison, Wisconsin was a little difficult for me because I think in my whole school, there were like two Asian kids. I used to bring kimbap to school. The uh, Korean version of sushi, I guess. Oh, what is that? Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it looks kind of good. But people would always make a huge interaction. I'm like, boy, you have Lunchables. Like, why is my thing so crazy? Like in Kumon, in third grade, I was number six in the whole USA in mathematics. Kids like later on were like, oh, you play piano, that's so Asian, and oh, you do this, that's so Asian. I was like, oh, then I, I tried to leave all that behind. And I was very, very shy about my culture, and I tried to shy away from it. I was chilling with white kids, black kids, Spanish, whatever, no Asians. Any Asians in my school, I was like, no, 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 I'm the cool Asian. I'm the Asian. You feel me? My dad got a teaching job in South Korea when I was in eighth grade, and I moved to Korea. The way they broke the news to me was like, oh, we're moving to Korea in two weeks. And I was like, the fuck? I was put in a Korean school. I couldn't speak any Korean. At first I was like a novelty, like, oh, he's from America, oh, it's lit. No one really wanted to be my friend. Um, it, was really, it was a really hard time for me. I was like 13 years old, you know? I had no friends, living in a whole different country. I, I hated being Asian. I hated being Korean. I moved back to America for high school, back to Wisconsin, and tried to play it all off. My dad was in Korea and me and my mom were in Madison, right? I called my dad and I was like, hey dad, I'm gonna drop out of high school and I'm gonna make music. He called me back in five minutes and it was like, yo, I'm I just booked my flight, I'm pulling up. <laughs> he came to America just to talk me out of uh, this music career and I, I told him like, dad, that this is really what I wanna do, I'm gonna do it and he was sold and ever since then, co-signed my dream and was like, just go for it. All I've ever wanted you, for you to do is to chase your dreams. Believe it or not, my parents have been the most supportive in my music career. I've been out here dolo on my own now I, I was so alone, I'm in my zone now I, Never changed my number, hit my phone now Hello, I don't know who is this Hello, I don't know who is this Early on in my music career even, when I was getting huge looks like Complex and I went viral on Spotify and I'm talking to all these labels, I had no Asian fans. I don't need no stress, no, no, no I don't need no stress, no, no, no. And I was trying so hard to not be this Asian artist. I had hair, my hair braided, you know, because the people I'm around and where I live. When I was um, grinding in New York City for the first couple years, you know, I took a bus, I dropped out of high school, I moved here. I had no money in my pockets. I lived in a basement with six older guys for 200 bucks a month. And then I realized one day, I was like, wow, like, I have a story. I should be proud of who I am and proud of where I come from and accept that. Never in a million years did I ever think I would sign to a K-pop icon like Jay Park. And it changed my life. All of a sudden, all these Asian people, Asian Americans across the whole country are hip. They've heard of me. And I've seen their support for me be so overwhelming and so amazing. I had to grow, I had to shy away from my culture to come back and represent it even harder and even fuller and understand what it means. And as I grow as not just an artist, but as a young man, I think I'm learning more every day. So Jay sent me a DM on Instagram. I think uh, January last year, I was like, oh bro, you're really dope. We gotta meet up. Baby, I and I was like, oh fuck, it's Jay Park in my DMs, I made it. He was coming to New York for the Rock Nation stuff because his signing had just went public around that time. Jay, I guess, uh, played my video, Me Love, for Rock Nation, for the a &R there, and he heard it. So I guess he had the, the, the computer turned, so he didn't know I was Asian. He turned the screen, he's like, oh shit. And he told Jay, if you don't sign him, I will. Allegedly. And I was like, oh wow. I think for me what has been so different is 
K-pop specifically artists are supposed to have this really pretty face, you know, extremely good looking, well done hair, high maintenance. They say I'm ugly, my mama still love me. And when I first signed, K-pop fans, some of them were like, oh, he doesn't look good enough, oh, he's ugly, what is this? And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just trying to do my thing. They call you ugly and think that it's funny. Then I realized that I've always been an outcast, I've always been bullied, made fun of, told that whatever I wanted to do is hilarious or it's not gonna happen. And I realized that I can stand up for this group of people. And rather trying to be this like sexy, iconic, like I can be this new thing where it's like, hey, like, it's all about what's on the inside. And I think my passion and the music I make and my talent is attractive. For a group of people that have been looked at as not cool, to finally have a spotlight on them and to be in one of the biggest and most vibrant cities in the whole world, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. And if you're Asian American and in New York, you can make it anywhere. There are different paths to get to where you want to be. You know, it's just, it's just overwhelming to even have gotten this far, but I'm even more excited. And even though every step is, there's a little bit of fear, as you continue to move forward, it's even greater excitement. <laughs>